Working around the clock to rebuild their lives from the ashes. Many of the residents have lost all their belongings. Their major concern at present is access to building materials. The challenge currently now which are they sitting with, because we have to bear in mind that some of the members here has been working before, but due to the uh, challenge we had, such as the COVID-19, they had, they had lost their job. So therefore now they had no way in order to afford to have a material for themselves. So we're hoping at least the disaster management that can, can, can have a hand to, to assist some of those who might, have, who might not, you see, afford the, such, such, such a material. National government says it will make funding available to assist the fire victims but are waiting for a finalisation of numbers. Many residents are disputing the official figures given by local authorities. The Department of Human Settlement says sustainable solutions are required. I feel that the informal segments, we've got to come up with strategy as national. If you have, you've been given a house, we can't build a house again because we are double dipping. We give you a house and then we must give you water, we must give you toilet, we must give you everything. So it's a problem. It's the problem of the country, informal settlements. And that, you know, most of the time, it, we, we, we sometimes it's difficult even for us to, 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 to actually deal with it. But we are trying our best because we've got money for informal settlements so that we improve. Residents here say they are working against time to rebuild as soon as possible. I need something gonna help me. I don't have work. I don't have anything. My house is this house. No sleep is no house is no sleep is no nothing. The Western Cape Department of Human Settlement says over 15 formal settlements in the province have been identified for its upgrading program during this financial year. It says city officials have written to national government to unlock funding to help the Joe Slovo fire victims. A follow-up letter will now need to be written by the city of Cape Town, which where they will need to request a deviation to use the USDG for this specific incident. Uh, so they will be writing that letter in due course to the National DG of Human Settlements. He will then engage the, uh, his, his counterpart at National Treasury, similar to what we did during COVID where deviation was allowed of our specific grants. And all of this will be finalised, I hope, within the next seven days. The city of Cape Town says some 20 ablution blocks were destroyed in the fire. It says 10 chemical toilets will be delivered to the site this week. The Solid Waste Department could not clear the debris as yet, as residents have already started rebuilding. Donation points have been set up in Langa and Bridgetown. Vanessa Puna, SABC News.